Here we have a 2005 Saab 93 Vector Convertible in black. The car is in nice condition for its age, as you'll see in the video. If we stop the offside front tyre, looking at the tread here, you get around 3 to 4 mil. Taking a look at the offside front alloy, it is in very nice condition with no signs of any curving at all and just a couple of light scratches on it. Taking a look down the offside of the vehicle, uh, there is around 3 or 4 minor dinks along the driver's door line which you might be able to see now, I'll show those in a second anyway. Apart from that there's no signs of any dents or any major damage at all to the offside of the car. Apart from that there's just a few um, light age related marks to the paintwork, a couple of stone chips to the mirror caps are there. And if I just show these small dinks, the first one's just here, you can see very small and light, another one just in front of it. And again, another one just in front of that as well. So it's around three to four, very light, but again, they are there. Apart from that, again, just a few scratches to a driver's door. Very minor scuff there to the uh, driver's door edge. And then making our way around to the rear quarter now. Again, just a couple of light scratches here and there. And then taking a look at the offside rear, you get around five to six mil of tread there, so there's plenty. And take a look at the offside rear alloy. Unfortunately, you can see we have got a little bit of curbing, so I would recommend a refurb to be honest. But again, not too bad condition for the age of the vehicle. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle now. And then take a look at the back. Again, to be fair, it's not in bad condition at all, with no signs of any dents to the back or any major damage to the bumpers. They've got a slight scuff here around the offside rear quarter. Again, uh, quite light, so it should uh, polish out with no problem. Apart from that, you've got a couple of scratches to the plastics, as you can see. And then a couple of scratches to the rear of the boot lid here. Most of which are light, except from this one here. I can just about get my nail into that one. But the rest are very light, so it should polish out again without a problem. There's the back. If we move around to the near side of the vehicle, I've got the near side rear tyre. And again, you're looking at around 5 to 6 mil of tread there, so that's great. And taking the near side rear alloy, we have got some very light curbs to the one side, as you can see. So, again, I would uh, recommend a refurb on this alloy, but no signs of any major damage at all. Looking down the near side of the car, taking a good look, can't see any signs of any dents or any damage, or even any small dinks at all. You have got quite a long scratch along the paintwork there, which you can see. Starts around here and ends down here, so it's quite a long scratch and uh, it seems to be on top of the paint anyway. Apart from that, just a couple of scratches again, these should polish out. And then a couple of very minor chips on the front passenger door edge. Again, just a couple of marks of the paintwork, you can see a bit of disfigurement there to the paint, a bit of bubbling. Mirror caps have got a couple of scratches on as well. And then moving down to the near side front tyre, you're looking at around 4mm of tread there. And unfortunately we do have quite a lot of heavy curb into the near side front alloy, so I would definitely recommend a refurb on this alloy. And then we make our way around to the front of the vehicle. There is quite a few stone chips to the bonnet, as you can see. Uh, you wouldn't expect this really from a car of this age, um, so this would require some touchings of paint. And a couple on the bumper as well. But no signs of any damage to the bumper at all, it's just mainly stone chips. There you go, if you have a look at the interior of the vehicle. I'll have a look in the back first. There is a slight bit of uh, wear to the leather, but uh, for its age it's in very nice condition. No signs of any damage at all, no rips or tears in the leather. And it's just slightly losing its colour a bit as it's, it is a sort of cream leather. But as you can see on the driver's seat, there's quite a bit of wearing to be fair to the holster and there's to the bottom of the seat there you can see there's quite a bit of wearing to the leather but again no signs of any major damage and the same in the front passenger seat as well slight bit of wearing to the holsters which again not bad condition for its age at all but looking at the rest of the dashboard etc it's all very clean and tidy and the same with the steering wheel I would just replace the mats though to be honest as you can see they are very dirty if we step inside the car I can show the mileage and things. Now you do get two sets of keys with the vehicle which is great. And if we just get the car started up. So 
So as you can see, no problem starting the vehicle at all. And it has done quite a few, a few miles in its age. 114,595 miles on the clock. If you just get the door shut. But as you can see on there, no symbols on the dash that you need to be aware of at all. Got a nice multifunction steering wheel here, it works perfectly fine. And looking at the setup here, you've got your radio and CD. But as you can hear, no problems with the sound at all. That sounds great still. And looking at the setup here, I've got air conditioning. You can see there, air con off and air con on. So, no problems there. And I've tried and tested all the blowers, and there's no problems there at all. They're all functioning just how they should. So, no problems with the buttons at all. I would say I've got a slight bit of wear in here to the button. So, you can see, you can't actually see the symbols of what they are there. So, that might need sorting out. Manual transmission, if you take a quick look at the documents now. Looking at the V5, the car's had four owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends February 7th, 2014, so not till next year. And then we do get full non franchise service history on the car as well. Feel free to pause this anytime to have a better look. You get your first one there at 7, second there at 13 and a half. You got your third there at 32. Oh, sorry about that. Like I said, you got the third one there at 32, you got fourth at 57, one at 81 there, and then one at 108, and I do believe that is your last service at 108,000 miles. But there we go, that's the 2005 Saab 93 Vector Convertible. For car of age, it's in great condition. I'll just show you now that the roof does function well, you've got the button here. As you can see, I've indicated the button. Still very smooth and fluent with the roof. No problems at all functioning it. Just wanted to show you guys that the roof does function well. And there we go, the last stage, all the windows closing up. And there we go. As you can see, the roof works no problem at all.